diet therapy being used here in Boston is having a dramatic effect in children who suffer from seizures. It has been shown to reduce the number of seizures in almost every child who tries it. Emily Reamer has the story of a Duxbury girl whose life was transformed in less than a month. Rosie Doherty is a bright and bubbly 17 year old. Looking at her today, you would never know she suffered from hundreds of seizures every day just a few years ago. I was having about 100 absence spells, and um, I was having about three grand mal seizures a week. She was taking five medications with tough side effects when her mother, Terry, heard about a diet therapy at Mass General Hospital, the low glycemic index treatment, a version of the ketogenic diet. We were up for anything. The diet seriously limits the amount of carbs a person eats, just 45 grams a day. That's compared to the 150 grams recommended for a healthy adult. Carbs come from veggies and fruit, like strawberries. Patients eat a lot of protein and fat, things like eggs, nuts, and heavy cream. And Heidi Pfeiffer, a dietitian specialist at Mass General, says that's a good thing. I think we're kind of ingrained to think that fat is really bad for us, but fat is actually really good for us, and your brain loves fat. And that could explain why the diet works, though doctors don't know for sure. Those fats produce ketones, and those ketones your brain uses as a source of energy. And that has had an effect where it actually has controlled seizures. A third of the patients have greater than 90 percent reduction. A third of the patients have 50 to 90 percent reduction in their seizures. In Rosie's case, they noticed improvement within a week, and within a month, the absence spells were almost gone. My body starts to feel really good. It decreases my seizures. I just feel awesome. Rosie's been on the diet for eight years. She credits her food choices along with a love of running for feeling so great and wants to inspire others with her success. Don't limit your dreams. Go for what you, you can accomplish, and you can accomplish anything. And this month, Rosie is helping several Mass General doctors and staffers accomplish their own March Madness Challenge. They are following the ketogenic diet. Rosie's sending them daily tips and encouragement, and she's getting ready for her own challenge, the Providence Marathon, in May. I'm Emily Reamer, WCVB News Center 5. Good for her.